Welcome to the pilot release of the briefing system. Today I will talk to you about a thermonuclear experimental reactor and its systems. Let's start with the process of start up the reactor. First you need to turn on the power to the reactor chamber. This can be done in our electricity room with a generator and other systems. You need to interact with the generator. After powering up, you can activate three servers near the generator. This is necessary to start up the reactor. Then you can refuel the reactor. Fuel is contained in containers, you can find it in the reactor warehouse. For one work cycle, three fuel cells and a key card of the maintenance personnel are required. Please note that in order to start up the reactor, the fuse hatch must be closed. The process of refueling the reactor is simple, put three fuel cells in their places and load them using levers on the control panel nearby. Next press the buttons on top of the levers to refuel the reactor. After refueling procedure, go up to the second floor. Find the director's room, enter the startup protocol code. After that, access to the reactor driver button will open, after pressing it, the driver will be removed from the floor. Insert the keycard, pull the lever to release the lock from the main lever, then pull the main lever. To shut down the reactor, you need to enter the code of the reactor shutdown protocol. Interact with the reactor driver again. If the fuel capacity drops to zero, the reactor will shut down, then access to the reactor maintenance panel will open. The process for refueling the reactor is almost the same as the first case. To dispose of empty fuel cells, put them in a container in the same warehouse. The reactor cooling system consists of four radiators. This system is controlled by two buttons. Radiators cool the reactor by 20 units per second in total. When the reactor is overloaded, the radiators will work automatically. This is where the basic functionality of the reactor ends. Now I will tell you about the reactor overload. To overload the reactor, you need to turn on the supercharger, the fuel enrichment system, turn off the fuses, and then increase the reactor RPM to the maximum. This can be done using the reactor power control lever. After start up the reactor, lower the reactor RPM to a minimum to save fuel, since a fuel level above 20% is required to overload the reactor. Next turn on all three fuel enrichment modules. This can be done here. Each lever controls the corresponding module. Next, turn off the four fuses. This is located under the reactor on the bridge. Access to the hatch can be obtained on the panel in the control room. Then go to the bridge and turn off the fuses. Then turn on the supercharger using this lever. After all this, increase the reactor RPM to the maximum and proceed to the electricity room. On this panel, you can put the reactor into unstable mode. If four green lights are on, pull the lever, then go to the control room and interact with the reactor overload panel. If the fuel level is above 20%, press the button. Enjoy. After the reactor is overloaded, an alarm will be triggered and this sector will be blocked. It can be disabled using this panel. We're done here.